welcome back guys to Crusader Kings 2. We are going to be starting a new series in the vanilla game. We just got the release of the, um, cent the Iron Century uh, bookmark patch that came out. It's free for anybody who already has CK2. I'm not sure. I don't think you have to have Holy Fury. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I think it is a free just to anybody that has CK2. Uh, regardless of what DLC is. But it gives us some uh, new characters. We get to start uh, in a different year, which is 936. So we've heard, now we have every century pretty much up until 1066. We still can't um, go back and forth or change the month in this one like uh, Viking Age and Early Middle Ages. But it does give us a lot more uh, characters to delve into. We have... King Otto of Germany, which is uh, has a pretty good size uh, kingdom. I know he uh, ends up having a, a, a rebellion from his brother, his half-brother. I think he's a bastard, too. Um, I forget what his name is. This guy, uh, Count Thankmar, I think is his name. And we have, uh, of course, you know, the caliphs from the uh, different sets of uh, Islam. We have the... Bedouin Shia Caliph of the Fatimids, which is pretty big. I mean, this, I think, is their territory here, but they're suzerain over a couple uh, different, I guess, dukedoms or emirates, they call them. We also have King Ethelstan, which is a new bloodline in this uh, Iron Century bookmark, who is like considered to be like the king that knocked the Vikings out uh, for, all, for good and for the rest of, I guess, history. There's probably still some raids, but uh, he was known for knocking them back into the sea, not really having to deal with them on the, on the scale that they did with the uh, great heathen army, and considered to be, like, the first king of all England, Anglo-Saxons. Um, but I guess that's debatable. Uh, we have this guy who is, is really um, is a cool one to do. Um, if you watch other YouTubers... Um, one Proud Bavarian is doing a series on this, which is which started off pretty good. It's a Cal, I think it's Carmation. Uh, it's a Shia heresy where they mix um, a little bit of Zoroastrianism and the Shia religion together. And like, he's a pretty brutal dude. He's got really good traits. Um, and he, I think he like uh, went into Mecca and like completely like like burned it down and killed a lot of civilians and stuff. But this is his area here. Um, you could reform the uh, Carmation um, religion and because it doesn't have a caliphate and you could become the caliph of it. Um, you could pretty much take over most of Arabia without anybody batting an eye because most of these other ones can't hold a candle until you get to like them. Even the Abbasids are kind of, you know, declined in power. You still got the Persians over here, the Samanids, pretty big. Um, you got the Grand Prince Arpad of Hungary. They end up turning Catholic. This is another good one. See, I was really torn between the two people that I wanted to do this series with. You got King Hakon of uh, Norway. He's Catholic, but the rest of the vassals are still uh, Germanic. So that would be good to try to uh, keep them together without them trying to revolt. Um, but the guy that we're going to play with, I'll show the other people, though, is his relative, who is Eric Bloodaxe. He was the king, if I'm not mistaken, of Norway. And uh, was driven into exile because he was just a, a mean son of a bitch. And people didn't like him. Uh, he is Germanic. Now, I think we get an event to where we can uh, do a, I guess, an adventure thing to try to take it back. So, we're going to see. I haven't played as, with him yet. We're going to see it together at the same time. Uh, the Royal Kid Dynasty over Kievan Rus, which is a nice big uh, kingdom. He has a really hard because he's 61 and he has no heirs. So this is potentially going to be the last warrior kid if he can't pull off getting an heir. Uh, he has no other family members whatsoever. Um, and then I think this guy is just this uh, Persian over here. I don't know what's special about him. I never really heard of him. And then you have the other Sunni caliph of uh, the Umayyads, which they've changed the color of. It used to be yellow. I don't know why they changed it. But um, now you have a Galicia which are still Visigoth. I, they're not uh, De Cantabria anymore, though. They're just De Leon. I think if you go uh, Viking Age, yeah. So I guess they're just a whole different thing now. I know you can, in an event, you can change to become the Kingdom of Leon, but this is just Galicia. But yeah, I don't know how his, his traits are. I guess he's he probably pretty good if he's 
it's not an interesting character or anything, but... So we're going to go ahead and start off as Eric Bloodaxe. We'll see, it's pretty hard difficulty. Um, we're playing on a hard period. Uh, we are going to do um, Iron Man, just so I can uh, maybe get some... I don't know if there's any uh, no achievements or not. I didn't even really think to look. Uh, we're going to turn off Generate Families. I don't think he has any kids, so that's another thing we're going to have to do. Uh, defensive packs we'll, we'll have on. Usually I don't play with it on because I think it just slows down the game. Um, everything else I think is good. I don't think anything we need to change. So we'll just go as is. We're enabled, so that's all I'm really worried about. So yeah, we're going to play as Eric the Blood Axe. Kathniss? <laughs> I guess that's his, uh, lordship or whatever. What is Pub Blood Axe? And hopefully we don't get our ass kicked. We're actually under a king, the king of Orkney, I guess. I'm not sure if he's Norse. I know he's Germanic, but I don't know if he's like Pictish or, or Scottish. Um, because we can easily get kicked around by England if we, you know, if they wanted to, if they feel like going up there. We do have like kind of a buffer between them and us, which is Scotland, I think. It's a little bit of Scotland. Uh, we're a Norse Germanic tribal. Pretty much anybody that's played as a Viking knows what to do with those. Um, we are, I really, I don't tend to like playing with Vikings. We do have some events on troops, but that's like the most of our troops. So we have to really be cautious on how we use them. We do have 40 event spawn galleys, which is great. We also have another 21, which is awesome. Um, are we like anything to this dude? We're the Chancellor of Orkney. <laughs> I think it's a, well, I mean, we have seven stewardship. I don't know if that's been the right thing to put us as. Um, Chancellor, actually. I think that's the, uh, let me see, yeah, I think that's the fucking, uh, diplomacy one, they have different names for, uh, the ones, I'm pretty sure this is the diplomacy one, for the Vikings it's different, like you have, uh, the Castellan, and you have the Stuart, the, uh, Master of Laws or Justice or whatever they're called, so I think this we are actually the diplomacy one, which we're terrible at. Uh, we're not bad martial wise. We have decent intrigue. Our learning sucks. Stewardship, eh. Our diplomacy is terrible. We do have the blood of Harold Fairhair, which is good. We get a personal combat of plus five. Norwegian opinion. Norse opinion, attractive opinion. We Oh, we do have a kid. I didn't know if he had a kid or not. He's only one, though, so. Um, Harold Edric Eriksson, I guess is how you say it. I'm going to. Mis mispronounce everything. Our wife's only 26, so we do have... She's actually got the blood of Ragnar, but our kid's not gonna have it. Yeah. That'd be great if we did. Let me see, what is, uh... Yeah, he has a lot of shit, like Norse, Viking, Pirate, Ravager, Sea King, Sea Queen. Raiding gives the Viking trait. Hopefully we get the Viking trait. I'm surprised I don't have it right now. So yeah, we'll be able to raid and do all that fun stuff. Uh... He has a plus four opinion of us. Our state diplomacy plus four. Oh my god. Alright, how's our wife look? Our wife is just eh. But she is related to... Oh, she's the uh, daughter of the king of Denmark. Can we get an alliance? Yes! Hey, hold on, let me make sure he's not... Let me see something. Um, where's the opinion at? So... Homeboy here. Let me see. Hmm. He doesn't really have like a bad like thing. I think is there a thing where you can um I always use like E4 where you can see like what a person like wants and shit like that. But I guess we don't have that here. It's CK2, it's not that advanced. <laughs> uh religion, diplomatic, diplomatic relations. So let me see with homeboy here. Um, yeah, vassal, vassal, mm, potential target, okay, so there's potential targets around here, let's see who his potential targets are, everybody next to him, I guess, uh, this is not a kingdom, it's like a petty kingdom, I think, yeah, this is the one from Bjorn Ironside, so a lot of them have, uh, um, the blood of Ragnar, too, he has a lot of potential targets, he has 
a good amount of allies and potential vassals, but it's not a guarantee. How many does he have? About the same. They're both tribal, so we are going to take that alliance. Because we might need it. He's 59, though, so I don't know how long that's going to last for. Um, his son is Harold Bluetooth, which is another uh, historic person. I don't know why he was called Bluetooth, but he's not bad either. Let's see the other people he has. That's our wife. Let's look at um, Hack on. See, we got something against. He's really good traits, especially his diplomacy. That's going to help him a lot because having that high diplomacy is going to keep these vassals in line, hopefully. Well, for him, not for us. Uh, they all pretty much love him. This guy's his friend. So, yeah, it's state diplomacy plus 10. Short range minus 17. That's the one bad thing he has. This guy's his friend. I don't know why. Let me see. He's, uh, he has a vassal that's uh, one of is our nephew. So, he's our half-brother. So, I don't know what we can do to him. Let's see. We can claim Norway because we do have a strong claim on it. We can do a rival, a bitter rival. You can't imagine anything better than throwing your blighter into the dungeons. So imprison Eric Blood. Imprison by Eric Blood Axe, humiliated by rivalry. That doesn't really do anything for us. But yeah, we can claim all of Norway, which we will eventually try. We actually don't have that, you know, that much less of men than him. He has a lot of potential allies. He has, he has a Ven Spawn Truce too, so he has. Like 6,000 men, including his men and his vassals. And his vassals, like, they will join. Um, with ours, we just got the straight up 3.65. So hopefully his men will just... He'll go into a war, and then he'll get depleted, and then we can make our move. We don't have much money, so we should go raiding. But I don't really want to waste the events on troops on it, to tell you the truth. If anything, I would use the uh, ones that I can raise, but we really can't raise that many. Because when it comes down to going to war against them, we're going to need those men. There's only two mercenary companies, one 600 gold. Oh my god. Big show. Oh my god, man, that's a lot. Prussian Catholics. And then we have the Irish band. Man, we only have two. <laughs> If we get enough for this one, that wouldn't be that bad. Because at least they got knights. They have 90 heavies, but that's it. Uh, they're mostly like infantry, though. They don't have that many heavies, but it's better than nothing. They just really need men for the fodder. Alright, let's go look at our council. Our chancellor it sucks ass, but that's all we got. Uh, our marshal sucks even more ass. Ah, damn, these people suck. He's not that bad, but we can't collect any money, so we can build legend. So hopefully we get build legend, and even though the raiders, they want you to use and raid, I can still use them at war, if need be. They're not gonna get, they're gonna get pissy. We need a better spy master, I think. But we do have decent uh entry, so we shouldn't have to worry that much. We'll get her to build zeal. Oh, hold on. I think we'll, uh, we'll have him build legend. Hopefully it doesn't get it too quick. Um, organize a raid. I think we'll do that so that way we can use those men. He doesn't have a good chance at all. And he's just a nobody. We'll switch him out. Matter of fact, let's look and see if we can get anybody. We might join a lodge too. Just to get, uh, the benefit of that. We're not going to buy anybody right now because we don't have much money. Alright, oh, are you kidding me? Seven. It's the highest and it's a woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's look at any just to see if there's any I can buy for 15. We're not too liked it seems. And our diplomacy is trash. Yeah, I don't see... There's one guy here, Pomeranian, for 18. Let's keep him in mind. So I might have to, because I want to be able to get a guy that's going to be able to organize a raid uh, with a little bit more probability than, what was it, three? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll put him as doing that for now. There's no negative to it, so the least he can do is try, I guess. You know what? I, wanna, I should probably put this guy, but he's probably my commander. Let me see if there's any uh, commanders here. There's a, 
a five. Of course, he's fucking trash. Oh my god. Alright. Ragnar. Who is also trash. Alright, let's just put you and you. I should probably make him mass or whatever. Marshal. And just, if I need to use him as a commander, use him. Hmm. And it's probably gonna give us much more of a uh, of a chance, but I think we're going to. Yeah, let's we'll switch him out for now. Um, whoa, same amount. Isn't that great? Jesus Christ! All right, this is gonna be hard, man. Designated regent. I guess we'll let our wife do it. It's the only person I really uh probably can trust, if I can even trust her. We actually have a half sister here. So that's not bad. I guess we'll use her. I wonder why our half sister's with us and not uh the other one. All right, who likes us the most? We can actually make my son the cupbearer at one year old. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess we'll just use the steward. Uh, law speaker. We'll use um. I guess we'll put him just to make his uh thing go up a little. Let's see who else do we have. Commander, we'll use the marshal. And then we have four herdsmen. None of these guys hold anything. He's a commander, so we'll put him. Then we need a court tutor. Looks like my wife. And then let's, uh. Can we get a, uh. We can't get a court position, can we? Damn it! Alright, search for a smith. It's been a while since I played as a Viking. Uh, hold a great bot. Dot feudalism. <laughs> Alright, let's put all the subplots on. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's look at the society. We have the Fellowship of Hell. We have the Wolf Warriors. I think that's the one we're gonna join. Who's the guy over top of it? Where are you at? At uh, right here. Hmm. We do have that sister. I think we should try to get a uh, alliance with her. I don't think she's married to anybody, right? She is. She's married to our steward, of course. <laughs> Does he have a claim on anything? No. He just comes from some regular family. He's part Irish. Alright. Well, that sucks. Maybe he'll die. They have no kids. That's great. You get formed the lines of them. Strong claim duel. What? As you have a strong claim on a title or several currently held by King Hacken, you can choose to challenge him to a deadly duel for it. Winning grants you the titles and vassals along with it. Losing means you will give up your claim along with your life. Wow. So we don't have that good of a personal combat skill. He doesn't really have either. I wonder if he has to agree to it or not. That's cool. I never noticed that before. Hmm. Duelers are tribal, has strong claim on the Kingdom of Norway. Duelers do not have the character modifier bedridden or severe illness. Duelers has not recently been in any duel, has not recently issued his challenge to King Hacken. Uh, Duelers are not involved in a war and within diplomatic range. So, I think we pick war, we'll get extra combat abilities. I think we might go for that. I want to see if the event pans out to anything first. Acquire a title. Um, groom and heir, I guess we can do because we'll get some extra kids. Make a friend. Choir title would be good, but I don't know if he's got any to even give out. Yeah, we'll just uh, groom and heir, I guess, for now. Actually, hold on. Grab title of the because the prestige can be used for shit, it's the only thing. Um. He's one year old. She's 26. So we got, I guess we got a little time. We'll, we'll acquire a title. Hopefully it gives us one like right away. It'd be great. Uh, name a successor. Who can we nominate? All these people are his. Uh, let's wait to see who he gets and then we'll uh, do that. We're definitely going to nominate our own kid. So, they can come over here and take my shit. <laughs> my nephew, my nephew. 
Hmm. I guess we'll always make the sun. Alright. I guess we'll go ahead and let time... Oh, let's join the society first. And then that way we can get some uh, extra out of it. I think you get dual skill. You get... Oh, yeah. I always call it dual skill. I'm just so used to it. Uh, King Toast of Western Gothia of the Wolf Warriors greets me with a brief nod. Another recruit, huh? To join our ranks, you need to prove yourself, boy. The man gruffly folding his arms across his chest. You'd be fighting one of your, our own. Still interested, my lord? We don't have anything in our treasury, so I don't have anything to help us with. Uh, gladly fight to prove myself. Yeah. Alright, let's get this going. King Tolst of whatever. And the Wolf Warriors are chosen Bog of Kinda, kinda, as my opponent. Uh, he's less than us, so we should be alright. Staunch man eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers mockingly before shoving an elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. Sparring match. Alright. Uh, the onlookers are cheering for me as I swing my... I swing my bare hands with an increasing enthusiasm. When it's over, Bag of Kinda Kinda is on the ground, his face red with embarrassment. I shrug, smiling to the crowd at my opponent. So we get dual victory. Um, he gets wounded and swollen wrist. Our dual experience increases. Nice. So it's a little... Oh, 48 now. War focus gives us plus 10, and then plus 5 from the fair hair. Ah, oh, that's right, we didn't even look at all that. Nice. So let's look. He should get the same, though. He's only 10 now. I really want to duel him. We have to wait till that duel is over, so... Um, how long do we have to wait? A year. So after a year, if we don't get that, uh, get an event, we're gonna do it. And hopefully we can just take Norway that way. <laughs> Alright, to the Valiant Eric of Kafnis. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I'm going to mispronounce everything. I am told that you did not receive a single scratch during your initiation. That is the kind of impressive fighter we would be honored to have sitting at our table. You are hereby humbly invited to join our ranks. Nice. So we are part of the Wolf Warriors. So we're a fledgling. So we get to make shield matings. Uh, we're more resilient in battle injuries, lifetime of war, and leading troops. Your experience gives you access to no events on the field of battle. We can go berserk, which has its uh, negatives too. You might kill somebody in your family. So, I'm thinking maybe we just try to go berserk now. Let me see, does anybody have it yet? Let me see something. I'm gonna see if there's any negatives involved in it. Uh, nobody probably even has it yet. But you go through the village like tearing up shit. I don't know if it uh, does something to you or not. I should have went the other way. I was like thinking. Um, this guy already has the Viking trait. I wonder what he had to do. Just go raiding. Is he at war? He's at war against Norway right now. He's trying to take uh, West Gatish. So let's see. That's probably touching his territory somewhere. I doubt it's um a whole yard on or whatever it's called. I don't see it anywhere though. Hmm. I'm looking to see if I see it. I don't see. It must be a Jarldom or something. Let me see. Nadaris. Um. Oplin. This is Viking. Viking, whatever you say. Let's see here. Oplin. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he's trying to take. Um. Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong thing. Ackers Hus. <laughs> so it's this one, the capital of uh, Viking or Viking, whatever it's called, from our nephew. Alright, especially if he takes that, then we're definitely going to have to uh, do something about that. We're not making any money, but we could uh, actually raid Scotland. Let's see, how many men does he have? 
It shouldn't hurt, hurt us any. These are both ours. This guy only has that, I think. Oh no, he has uh, Orkney and the Shetlands. I think these guys are totally different. Yeah, the Hibrites. It's from, uh, what's his name? The Boneless Kid. He's not bad either. He's married to some regular person. Alright. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these guys together. Let's go ahead and have them raid. And we'll just go over to uh, Moray and raid them down. We need to make a fucking commander. Let me see. Now that I got my shit up a little. If someone would be willing to uh, come without money. No. Uh, just this guy. Oh my god, it's too sad when the women are better. Alright. Let's uh just put somebody there then. This guy doesn't have any. Alright, he's on the council. <laughs> well, I guess we have no choice. Alright. Hopefully we don't get met by somebody with like a fierce uh warriors. Let's go and raid Moray. Just to make some money. While we're waiting, see if this event happens. Is he at war? Or Orkney and Conquest of Tyrone, which is one of these odd things, I think. Where is Tyrone? I know it's one of these, uh... That's Iona. The Hibrites. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, over here in Ireland. Okay. That would be smart, too, to take some of these uh, people that don't really have any men. Because they're all, like, independent. Except for uh, Dublin. We might do that, too. While we're waiting to get some extra men. Oh, shit. I'm glad I didn't see that. <laughs> Hold on, what is that? Moray? I'm thinking maybe we step back over here until... They're done because we run into them. Then it's gonna make us hostile. Conquest of Moray. See, so they're gonna siege that down though. Is this part of Scotland? No, it's the Isles. That's the Isles. Buchanan is gonna be part of Moray. We could just go on the boat and get there. But they're gonna probably retreat back. Let's go over here. Actually, just stay there. And then we'll just have them go on the boat. We'll see where they're going to retreat to. They just got some men. Scotland's helping them. What was this? Ask Liege for a title. Ooh. Mm. Does he like us at all? Sure. Let's see if uh, he'll just give us a title. What is this? Rumors are, are the great spoils are waiting behind the walls of Carbwent. Waiting to be conquered by any daring raider it was not a great ambition. I assume I need to say nothing more. Where is this uh, barony here? So, how much men do they have? They really don't have that many men. So we could take that. They got a ten. Uh, yeah, it does. It's a decent amount of gold too. All right, maybe we'll just go take that. You know what though? I'm gonna take him off. Because I don't want him to get scurvy. At least we do that, we're getting something. Alright. Let's go down to Carwent. We'll get that. And if he, uh. Oh, how long? I think he has to be, uh. Yeah, Duel's not involved in a war. So as soon as his war is over, we're gonna try to duel him. We should beat him. I mean, he's kinda shit. Why are these guys? Oh, because they're going to say, oh, no, 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 I don't want him trying to take my shit. There's a thousand men. Yeah, I'm just, we have to wait a minute. Hopefully, he doesn't come there. I don't want to use my men, though, for this. Hopefully, he goes to him and stops. Oh, did I even ask him for the title? No. It's going to cost me prestige, though, is the thing. It sucks. Requested land. 
I guess we wait till he takes that land and then do it. We're gonna keep our men right here because I think he's gonna try to go. He's gonna go there. The only place he can go is this way. Let's see what he tries to do. I really don't want to use these men though. Oh shit. Alright, uh, homie, I have a question. Honor your obligation to answer this call. Arms against blah blah blah. Okay, sure. We were already pretty much in it, anyways. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna come at me with that many men. You know what? How many men does he have here? 500. I'm gonna be raised the men we have, which is like 800 and change. Almost, almost a thousand now. Um, we're gonna have to pay a lot for him, though, is the thing. Let's see how much is it? Uh, it's a little more than what we make. So, let's bring them down here. We'll just keep the other event spawn troops separate. And we'll go down and siege this. And if he comes that way, we can just bounce. Let's take these guys, put them together. Get him on the boat. Oh, he's already sieging somebody. Sieging him down, so that way we can um help him keep our guys here. Let's go back to Raw so he doesn't try to do anything stupid. Alright. At least we participate. Now we got both our men there. He probably won't try anything. The cook has prepared a fine meal, but the priest preached about temperance I will like temperance um 45% we get a 70% chance of a glutton but we get health well I'd rather get the temperate even though we didn't get anything alright I guess we will lead these troops with our other dude he's probably gonna come at us I don't really care about losing those troops though there's nothing he can do. He has both of these, I think. Yeah. Alright, we sieged the first one, so he has what? A bishopric. I don't think he's battled him at all yet, so... I think he's probably gonna have to be so... Alright. Uh, Living the Harmony Contentment, please support me in voting. If you agree with this, I'll henceforth owe you a favor. Sure. Now, shouldn't you have to give me a title? <laughs> Let me see something. Mm. Mm. Let me see. Ask for, ask for a pardon. Mm. Alright. We'll wait a little bit and we'll ask for a title just to get it out of the way. Because if we get it, we'll get a lot of press feedback. Jesus Christ, dude. Now I'm not going to be able to do him for a little bit. Alright, Danish Uplander Subjugation War. This is what happens when you go try to bite off too much that you can chew. Against Upland. Upland has more men than he does. Yeah, Tch, what an idiot. Alright. These Vikings all swear they can just pull off anything they, their heart desires. Alright, successor nomination. So, we'll just go ahead and nominate the same guy. Poor firm. New discovery. New land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland. While sailing to Reykjavik from Norway, Gunbjorn Olfsen and his crew were blown off course. Uh, came upon several scaries lying off the coast of a much larger island, possibly a new continent. While Gumborn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to investigate this discovery further. What lies beyond, I wonder? Surprise about Greenland. Small kitty is demanding your attention. So, I think we will take that one instead. We we'll probably wouldn't get kind anyways. At least we'll get some health and extra intrigue. We'll great end this. Um, I really want to do this, but I'm afraid he's gonna be like, nah. We'll wait till he takes the land. Is this this is just for Tyrone? Too bad it's not for both, but it's alright. Shouldn't be that. I'm trying to see how much we'd have to. He's probably gonna want to go at him. 
is voted for medium tribal organization due to returning a favor to King Einar. Hmm. Whatever. Alright. After the army enters Rapo, <laughs> any sense of discipline is lost and the men start to rob, burn, and pillage. Let them have their fun. It's plundering the leader. Morale of armies. Huh? How do I get morale armies of minus 5% if I'm letting them plunder? That doesn't make any sense. We get national levy size. We don't get any money, though. Dishonorable by many people. Lose church walls. Yeah, it's not us. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> so we gain 10 gold. We'll get 50% chance of wrath. 50% chance of cruel. I will stop this immediately. Either way, you get you know, morale or army loss. Manage to regain control of your army. You gain prestige. You get strong leader. Or you get a 35% chance you're not able to stop the killing and destruction. And you get weak leader. Huh. For 10 years at that. Damn. 65 to 35%. Hmm. I think this one we lose more prestige. This one we get actual more levy size, but it's only for two years. What the hell? We'll try it out. Nice. We get strong leader. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I don't know. We lost. Oh, we actually got prestige. So let's go. Oh, I'll wait till he takes this. Still, let's go and see if he'll follow us. Alright, he is. So we'll, we'll use these men, I don't care. He's going to get there right before. Oh no, we get there a day before he does. Hopefully he keeps coming. Doesn't stop. <laughs> that would really suck. <laughs> Alright, we're leading the middle. With our other guy, and then... I don't know who that is. Lord of Orkney proved the institution of medium tribal organization. Alright. We needed that battle anyways. If not, we're just gonna sit there in a standstill. Alright. Let me see something. More It's probably completely depleted now. Why don't I take my ships and go and hit Buchanan? Oh, you know what? See, I know he's gonna come up here, and I don't wanna leave that because that's the only way he can get to his land. I don't want somebody sieging that down while I'm waiting. Oh! I'm hoping we get an event. If not, we're just I'm just gonna duel him. Hopefully he didn't get his ass kicked. I mean I, I would help him. We don't have any vassals though. We actually have like priesthood vassals, that's it. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna come up here and attack though, so I don't have to worry about that. So we should be over after we take this. Uh, 81. So he's gonna have to take the other one, I guess. Let's just all uh, turn up the speed. We're gonna end it after this. All right. Conversion of Hungary. The tribes of Hungary have been converted to the Catholic faith. A group of priests sent by the Pope of the Papacy have performed a great ritual during which they were converted. The entire population of Hungary, alongside Grand Prince Arpad Zolta and many of his vassals, with this act, the people of Hungary have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. So. Hungary is now Catholic. They have a great two bloodline combination. They have the blood of Attila and then the blood of Arpod. We should be able to see just before they finish. Hopefully. It looks like we are. Then he better end the war like right away. Alright, 100%. Now, let's just, I guess, go home. Oh, I lost two boats. How did I lose two boats? How do you lose two boots? I lost men too from just sitting here. What the hell? Burst into a tent, flanked by several warriors, dragging Frody with him in chains. My chief, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this woman. She is, is that my wife? That's my half sister. I'm not burning my sister. Mm, let her go free, what harm could it do? <laughs> um, 
Either way, it's minus 100. <laughs> mm, I guess we'll just brand her. Is he gonna be mad? <laughs> Alright. Come on, call the war, dude. The fuck you waiting for? It's a hundred percent. Are you gonna let him take that back? How dumb is AI, man? He actually took the one back already. Stupid idiot. What a dumbass. Alright. Let's ask him for a title. See if he gives it to us. We did help him out. Too bad you can't use the damn favor on it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I fear that I failed to convince me of the justice of your request. Regrettably, I cannot oblige. Disappointing. This is futile. Oh, ban your ambition. Um, no. Alright, now, let's put, um, you know, the owner is at peace. Oh, uh, yeah. These guys that we can use. So let's get them on the boat. We're gonna go siege, uh, raid this. And then when we come out of, uh, out of, uh, what you call, we're gonna go ahead and, um, try to duel him. Hopefully. I don't know if he has to agree to it or what. Which one are we going after? This car went, yeah. Yeah, hopefully he goes for it. The man is a coward, that's for certain. He can't fight, shadows and no loud noises frighten him, and blood makes him faint. You are a disgrace. <laughs> uh, all characters are thinking he's a coward. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, we completely burn it down. He doesn't have any men, so not enough to do anything with us. So we'll just end this here. Um, just go ahead and drop these guys and end this here. That way, uh, doesn't get too long. And when this war is over, I should go help him. But uh, when this war is over, we are going to damn. You can just ask. Oh my God, this is never gonna end. They're trying to take everything of his. Yeah, they really don't like the Catholic over their shit. Alright. Ooh, he's mangled. We're his heir. What? Everybody, I guess, is voting for us to be the heir. Is it elective? No, it's agnotic, cognatic, gavel calling. He has no kids. I don't even think he's married. What an idiot. So we might get it if he dies. Alright, well we'll end it right here. Um, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.